On Thursday, hundreds of Buai traders and locals of Medang district gathered at formal just outside of Medang town and blocked off the road access into town. Bags of beetle mat were stacked one on top of the other across the road, obstructing vehicles from both sides of the road to pass through. A Ward 17 member manning the formal market told police the blockage is a demonstration of their obedience to the government's orders, but it is also a demand for the local member to come to Medang and address them. Boy, my friend. So that's why the people from Boy, number local town, Mr. Honorable Brian Caramelo, come now, look him now, explain him. Uh, people from around us, boy, and me bend to do now. So people are saying, people are saying, people are saying, people boy, and me bend to do now, people are saying, people are saying now. So, white land. A local who also depends on the sale of beetle nuts says, though they are complying with the government state of emergency orders, they are demanding Medang MP to release their DSIP funds. Samuel Main asked the member Brian Kramer to release the funds for the wards that were promised to all wards, as they cannot rely on the sale of beetle nut anymore and needs an intervention from the district. Brian must come to explain him. Now I must. Okay, but people say, how am I bringing services come inside online? You look at the line, come in, boy, come. Now no, look at your fucking one and here. They just want to show Brian that Brian has to come down and explain. Another local, Uriah Tula, says since there is now a boy band and they want their member to come to Medang and address them in terms of how best his people can have access to basic services. Our immediate member is uh, 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 Brian Kramer, uh, Minister for Police. Ah, me play got this law. Ah, let me come go talk to me play this law. All the money by Kamlo, what blow me play ya? Ah, DSIP all the by Kamlo, all what ya? Ah, this law 14 million blow me. Me talk about putting play ya. Please, can you release that now? All the what member, what 17 open my gun, please. Provincial Police Commander Acting Superintendent Manjo Rubian was there to talk to the people explains what it means by the state of emergency imposed by the PNG government. Mr. Rubian explains the state of emergency orders now supersedes all powers, suspending all other powers. The PPC encouraged the people get it to remove the roadblock and allow traffic to flow. Now state of emergency, I'm giving people power long up. Police now have been so sorry. You are trying to make block something, police back see you. Be one bell, one is and you plan make him here, you plan no bell, no make him. You plan to show him this again, pass him on, government or same. This is one plan, contain you plan. Government must look sober, which me understand him. Please, me appeal you plan, you have plan, government looks like a penis. One is and you plan make him, but I'm going to go to the media, social media, blame me, of government, of sad man, control, I go past for this, have you plan, emergency, I'm by looking. So please, now me behind me, to talk about me, lost him boy back, and I put him aside. Let him already open, or my money must go come. However, Rubian says he has no prerogative to address any concerns regarding the SIP funds for Medang District. Matha Lewis, National MTV News, Medang.